Hey guys, welcome in, and people have been asking, why Toad? This is the deck that I'm running in, and Toad is there for the Z moves. The more Z moves you have, the merrier. And also, I think there's some little strategies that people are not quite picking up on yet. And it's... I think they're just flying under the radar. So... I want to try and jump into league and see how this will go. So, and actually, actually use Toad today. I know yesterday's one was just, I got the wins and I got them fairly quick and I needed the boosters. And if that happens, I can't say no to those boosters. <laughs> um, Recycle, Max Revive, Invisibility, Cape, Mighty Sphere. Interesting, interesting combos. Um, so, it looks like a semi YOLO deck. Hmm. Let's see, I'm sure he's, gonna, he's definitely going to rush. Yeah. So, I'm going to go out with uh, probably Gengar or Poipo. Um. This could be a terrible idea going with Poipo, but I want to get Poipo on the board early. But if he attacks and rolls his gold, it's going to be bad for me. If I, But I want to be able to get Naganadal on the board and just attack everything, poisoning everything. Perfect. So I want to get Toad out first, and then I want to try and get Nag out. And then we shall see just how... Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So, let us get out my Naganadal and just see. Okay, Lucario, I'll, I'll let this go. I'm just gonna, actually going to attack. Looking for his blue, my blue, or that's, that's fine too. And I'll get, I'll get Venusaur out. And the reason why I like to get Venusaur out is because getting it out off, off the bench is always nice as, instead of having it 1 MP and having it so slow. Oh, uh, if he attacks here, damage on damage, I win. Damage on damage, I win. If he rolls his purple, he's most likely going to win. But, or unless I roll blue. That, not quite. Not quite. So, I'm just going to go out again. And purple on purple, my opponent's in trouble. Uh, if I roll blue, that's fine. So, let's just see. No. Okay, so, now... I'm going to just defend with Gengar, and I want to get Gengar out because I, if he, oh, he knows, he knows, there we go, that was very, very, very 50-50 with the blues and purples, um, so, I'll take that, I'll take that, definitely a very much YOLO player, um, he's probably going to go Mega Lely now, next, and, no, Max Revive, okay, so since he's burning his plates, I need to start burning mine too, I don't want to get, he could have even just used his recycle there, and he would have been at least caught on up, but now, at least I get to burn his um, Mega Lucario, as well as his Max Revive, and only had to lose mine, lose my Max Revive, so worth it for me when my opponent has a recycle and now I just want to try and keep my plates as long as I can so um, I'm going to put my phantom energy right about now then I can step over the marshadow and just I want to get some quick easy knockouts okay and he sees that he sees that so I'm just going to block this off and then I am going to look at maneuvering up and trying to step over that marsh shadow so what I am gonna do what I'm gonna do is try and get near him but depending on what he does is we are going to uh, he looks like he's just gonna turtle up and if he is turtling up then then I've got to, I've got to be a little bit smarter about things. Um, got these ones crawling on me. So, 
We're going to try and move up to the other corner and just try and spread him out a little bit. I'm not going to keep pushing up. I'm going to try and just spread him out a little bit. And then once I can have another, maybe another entry, I can potentially go for Toad. But toad. It must we will... Okay, he's going, for, he's going for the Mega. So what I am going to do is... Okay, Let's he gets that. That's fine. So, right now, my opponent has all of his mons bunched up then. And this is this is one bonus that if they don't spread out, Marshadow is definitely gone. And then everything around, everything is within two steps of Marsh. So, the whole field confused. And that is the, like, that is the power of... Uh, and dodging. That is actually nice after and dodges when your opponents don't. So now everything has a status. And I should be able to get a few of these knockouts fairly easily. Get my own Nag Naganadol back. There we go. There we go. So next. I am going to try and go for that maybe drift. I might go for Drifloon. Ah. Oh. And this is what Toad is actually, besides for, from Zemus, he's actually good in standard thing. So, I should have, I should definitely should have attacked there. I should have attacked. And, because he, he's not level 5, so he's got two of his segments. So, guaranteed me winning. Guaranteed him missing, anyway. And that, the vibration is amazing. So, that... That just works, works amazingly. So, I've still got all my plates. I'm gonna go up, and what I can next, what I can do next is, if I get nagged into a battle, and this is what this is the strategy. I don't think anyone realizes, and he doesn't even realize I've just broken his plates too. So he's got, he's got no. He's got no. Oh I am going to. <laughs> I am going to try and knock this out before I scatter. So when Nag has its first battle, then I'm gonna turn everything into poison, from confused into poison, and then it's the whole field confused, and then the whole field poison. So it's. It's a very, 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 very good option, but I want to try and also get rid of Coco first. So, invisibility, okay, there we go, he's going for it. And, I need to make sure I'm defending. I need to make sure I'm defending before, before I, okay, this is okay. Because, now, boom, survive it, everything else goes poison. So now I can defend. If he comes out towards me, Gengar can hop over it, and then I can move my Gengar up to hop on over all the other <laughs> on my opponent's side. Um, totally. <laughs> He's being a little cheeky face. Four year olds. Ah, uh, Toad. But at least Toad has done his job. So now. I'm just gonna go step down and try and lure some of my opponent's mons down. Get Venus out so they're all crippled, so they're all <laughs> one and two MP. And that that is one of the things I used to love about the poisons. So there we go. I would I'd rather try and save these until until I absolutely needed them, but. I also need to try and move all my mons up. So, now, I'll, at least I've got no threat of Mega Lucario. So, that is a bonus. So, we'll see what my opponent wants to do. Um, and then... And then... Now, my opponent has no way of getting back. He has no way of getting back. He has to move Lucario back. And then, oh, okay, not a, not a bad decision, but 
Ah, uh, the sea devils. There we go. So, looking now, I am going to step over. Now, if I roll purple or blue, or my opponent rolls purple, that is going to be game over. So, come on, purple or blue is what I want to see. That That's fine. And the one time that you actually really want to take away is when you can lock your opponent down like this. Go Mega Ginga to the top corner, and then with the Mega Ginga to the co top corner, then I <laughs> I can now block him off. He I've excluded all of his other plates, and my opponent can't MP even reach me to freeze me with Lely. So GGs, GGs. But those are the those are the like combos that you just don't see anybody doing. I'm like the nag toe. Like we've all seen the the Naganadil and Poipo, but Naganadil Nagan and Toad. No, and using a Z move to status like the whole board, the absolute whole board, and then later. Use the ones to get confused, get rid of the ones that you want confused, and then turn them, the rest of them, into the poison. Here we've got a gold as well. <gasps> more EX UX pulls. Mm, two more chances. I've been getting some good luck so far, but Toad, definitely, definitely underrated. He definitely needs a buff. No, don't get me wrong, he definitely needs a buff, but just the, the use of his poison, the use of the Z move. The use of Naganadol being able to jump over, uh, to jump in and to and to um, change everything to poison. So when down there, after his first um, first battle, any Pokemon that has a special condition is now po poisons everyone with a special condition. And with that, with that. <laughs> I need to go spend some time with my boy soon. So, so, um, I think that is a great combo. Just wait, just wait. I think it's just a great combo that is definitely like has not been seen. I've never seen anybody even try something like that. And even like Toad has gone like completely out of the meta. But I think there's an opening. There definitely is an opening. And some people did want me to try a little bit more of a water poison with finnies and some of the other water poisons. Um, and I can potentially try that. So, mm, maybe i try that as well. Nagandel with those and Gengar. Mm, could be good. It could be good, but... Mm, we'll see. I might try some more poison waters. Like, I ran that poison in the water gym quite a while ago now just before Christmas I believe it was um, definitely definitely has potential Toad still needs a buff the, the misses and the, the 70 earthquake definitely need a little bit of something but mm, also maybe like the bumpy ground have a, give a little bit more weight to it bumpy vibration yeah I don't know but Toad there, there are these combos that are just unseen and I think you can potentially, potentially do some amazing things with. So, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys like the Toad in the in the water deck? Is those some cool strategies and showcasings? Let me know what you guys think. I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments and try out some more interesting decks. So, just Z moves. Z moves. You need to utilize them, and but utilizing them in a poison deck, I think that's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think and we'll see you guys next time.